So, you may have experienced this horrible jitter when you move the player and look around. Here's how you can fix it. First, create an empty game object in the scene. This will act as a camera holder. Then, drag the player camera into this camera holder and reset the transform for both the camera and the camera holder. Now, under the player, create an empty game object which will just be the transform the camera should follow. Position it where you would want the camera to be. Next, create a new script called Move Camera. Add it to the camera holder and open it up. In the script, we just want our camera holder position to follow our player's camera position. So let's declare a new transform called camera position and in update, we just want to set our camera holder position to our camera position position. That is all for this script. Back in Unity, assign the empty game object that we created as a child of our player in the inspector. Now, if we were to test this out, we will get an error. Null reference exception. This is because our camera is no longer a child of our player, so we can't use get component in children. Just add the serialized field attribute to the camera and change it from a camera to a transform because we want to reference the camera holder. Assign the camera holder to the player look script in the inspector. We can look around just like before, but we still have one more step to fix the jitter. Under the player, create an empty game object that will keep track of our orientation. In the player look script, declare a new transform for our orientation, and instead of rotating the player on the y axis, we want to rotate the orientation. Right now, if we were to test this, it would not work because our player is still moving according to its own transform. Instead, we want it to move according to the orientation, since that's what we are rotating to look around, and we want to move in the direction we are looking. So, in the player movement script, declare a transform for the orientation, and instead of moving according to the player transform, we want to move according to the orientation. And that's all. Don't forget to assign the orientation in the inspector for both the player movement and player look scripts. Now if we play, you can see we're not jittering anymore and everything is buttery smooth. Yay. Now, let's improve the ground detection. Open up the player movement script. Instead of a raycast for ground detection, let's use physics.checksphere. We want the position of the sphere to be at the bottom of the player, so I'm gonna take our position and subtract it by a new vector 3 with 1 on the y. The reason we are doing this is because our position is at the center of our player and our player height is 2, so the bottom of our player would be this. Now we need to specify a radius for the sphere. I'm gonna declare a new float for this and set it to something like 0.4. And we also need to specify a layer, so let's declare this as well and make sure to add the serialized field attribute so we can set it in the inspector. To stay organized, I'm gonna add a header for all the ground detection related stuff and move the ground mask right underneath the header. Now, create a new layer and set all the objects that you want to be walkable to that layer. Don't forget to set the ground layer on the movement script in the inspector and everything should be working just fine. Now it's time to deal with slopes. Let's create a new bool for when we are on a slope. We're gonna do a raycast and we need something to store the hit info. So let's declare a raycast hit, I'll call it slope hit. Now we wanna check if we're hitting anything with a raycast with a starting position at our position, vector3.down for the direction, and let's output the information to the slope hit, and a max distance of half of our player height, plus let's say 0.5. If we are hitting something, we want to check if the normal is not equal to vector3.up, in which case we want to return true. This is because when the normal of a surface is not pointing straight up, then it's a slope. In all other cases, we want to return false. Now let's calculate the direction we want to move while the player is on a slope. So declare another vector 3 for this. And in update, we want to calculate the direction. We will do this using vector 3 .project on plane. Essentially, this projects a vector 3 defined by a normal that is perpendicular to a surface. So let's set the slope move direction to vector 3 .project on plane. The vector that we want to project is our move direction, and we want to project it on our slope hit normal. Now that we have calculated the slope move direction, we can apply it when we are on a slope. In the move player method, add another else if statement to check if we're grounded and on a slope, in which case we want to do the same thing as we would normally but instead of move direction we want to use slope move direction. However, right now we have an issue. Simply add another condition which checks if we're not on a slope and we're done. If we head back into Unity and test this out, you can see that the player is moving up and down the slope without bouncing up and down. Everyone, we have an announcement to make. I made a discord server. Yep, that's right. If you need any help, make sure to join it, and if you don't, make sure to join it, cause you can hang out, listen to music, and I created a fun bot to mess around with. Anyways, thanks for watching.